Akbar Mihak's works can be situated at an ideal intersection between traditional identity and constant search for modern expressions. The special bond between Iran and Italy, Mihak has established through a reinterpretation of old and new artistic concepts can be appreciated in his artworks some of which are currently on display in an exclusive exhibition at the residence of the Italian ambassador in Tehran. These works represent a selection from Michek's three signature collections, which form an ideal itinerary to discovering and understanding his artistic message. Vague, playing with the letters of the alphabet and living soul. Akbar Michak is known today as a sophisticated modernist painter who has experienced a wide range of techniques, thereby gaining a strong artistic consistency and giving rise to a deeply personal and recognizable style. Born in Isfahan in 1947, his interest in art began in his early age, when he became fascinated with calligrams and letters graphics. The structure and aesthetics of the Persian alphabet proved especially attractive to him. In 1970, he moved from Isfahan to Tehran to cooperate with Italian and French designers in the International Exhibition Organization. It was as a result of this collaboration that Michek was able to create a large number of wooden works and most importantly to further develop his passion for contemporary art, which led him to move to Italy in 1971. Upon arrival to the country that would have become his second homeland, he started studying Italian at the University of Perugia. Soon after, he became particularly interested in stage design, which he saw as a complete and comprehensive form of art, encompassing different artistic expressions, from painting to architecture, from literature to music. In 1973, Michak joined the Academy of Fine Arts in Rome. His teacher was Totti Shaloya, a famous Italian painter, illustrator, stage designer and poet. Shaluya contributed a great deal not only to Michak's artistic growth, but also to open up his mental approach and views towards society. Shaluya's own method of educating artists by engaging them in a perpetual conversation on social issues and modern life left a deep impact on Michak. He later applied the same approach in his teachings in various universities. An arts movement which was very important in shaping Michak's sensibility was Italian Futurism. It taught him to go beyond the boundaries of tradition and to explore the contents and meanings of new and ever more dynamic avant-garde trends. In the 1980s, he added yet a new dimension to his artistic career, industrial design, which he studied at the San Paolo Institute of Rome under the stewardship of former students of the German Bauhaus School. Today, at the age of 74, Akbar Michak lives and works in Isfahan, where he is enriching his playing with the letters of the alphabet series, a collection made of black and white tones which reproduces alphabet letters in improvised and dynamic shapes with eye-catching rhythms. Prima di tutto dovrei dire che aver vissuto in Italia per me è stata una fortuna. Nonostante che, sapete, per vedere Roma ci vuole un giorno e per conoscerla ci vuole una, una vita. In quei anni, in quei 25 anni della mia permanenza in Italia, che erano degli anni particolarmente caldi, Ciò che ho vissuto è stato inciso sia nella mia personalità che nella formazione artistica. Ho visto l'arte in vari settori e vari generi. Ho sentito della musica 
dei grandi autori con M maiuscolo. Ho seguito cinema, cinema neorealismo, che i suoi miracoli in Italia è veramente da considerare. Ho visto la moda, ho visto boom del making. Per capire tutto ho dovuto conoscere la letteratura, la letteratura contemporanea. Mi sono recato da Calvino, da Calvino ho scoperto Leopardi, Pasolini, Ungaretti, Montale, eccetera. Tutto ciò che ho raccontato non è il mio passato, è il presente e il All Michek's works and collections carry deep meanings. Michek started his new series, The Vague, in Rome in 1991 and continued it upon his return to Iwan in 1996. This series is a reproduction of Michek's own thoughts and experiences in Rome, with a special highlight for his profound fascination with the San Clemente Basilica. Through these artworks, Michek attempts to make the viewer think and discover the place he has created. In this series, he strives to express his own Italian and Iranian cultural heritage in the form of a stroll from Rome to Isfahan. The trip provides Michek with an opportunity to engage into a spontaneous and improvised creative process, later to be codified in the familiar shape of a postcard size. The use of pen drawing and scratch technique adds to the boldness and historic depth of his journey. The last work of the Vague collection marks at the same time the ending of the series and the beginning of a new stage in Michak's artwork. Michek's interest in the alphabet goes back to his adolescence. His calligraphy draws inspiration from important cultural references, such as the Italian futurism, as well as from artists like Caravaggio, and poets like Italo Calvino and Giuseppe Ungaretti. Equally important are the references coming from the hidden subtleties of the Persian alphabet and its spatial visualization. Akbar Michak gives a new spirit to the lifeless and repetitive body of traditional calligraphy by creating a rhythmic composition with a perpetual beat. He boldly arranges letters in different dimensions on the canvas, with infallible instinct and with the critical help of his unique color palettes. The shapes created by the free and rebellious association of Michak's letters are meant to stimulate all human senses by means of an ensemble of cross-references coming from literature, music, theater, and etc., much in the way of the complete art concept dear to his master, Totti Shaloya. The last series is particularly remarkable as it features a large number of Michak's photographs of Venice reflections in the water. Several years spent in Venice gave Michak the opportunity to develop his artistic analog photography skills, which led to the creation of a charming collection called Living Soul. The dynamic spirit of the city and its reflection in enchanting colors on waveless water deeply fascinated him. In search of a hidden dimension of Venice, Michak has collected photos that appear abstract and real at the same time, 
navigating through an ocean of intended ambiguity. In the collection of colorful ceramics and bricks, Michak gives a modern dimension to the art history of his hometown Esfahan. In exploring and reinventing the motifs of his tiles, Michak proves to be fully aware of his cultural background and to be able to reinterpret it in original forms and with modern sensitivity. The greatness of Michak resides in the variety and richness of his artistic production, as well as in his firm belief that the continuity of tradition and identity rests on the ability to go beyond the past, while at the same time drawing inspiration from it. For this reason, he gradually abandoned the boundaries and limitations of realism and decided to resort to abstraction in order to express his artistic inspiration and personal state of mind.